people outside you know i'm in college so there's only people outside welcome to my second video i'm gonna be doing an intro video soon but you know i wanted to give y'all a little taste of what my channel is gonna be before i do an introduction <laughs> okay so yeah but today's video is gonna be on me traveling to rwanda africa okay this was my first ever like trip yes my first ever trip going out of the country my first time ever getting on a plane so yes it was scary i was scared i was so excited but i was so scared i was and still am 18 when i first got on a plane yeah i'm a little late but it's okay the way this trip came about was uh, through an organization called the Kerry John Walker Fund. And basically they do a trip every year to Rwanda to like support, you know, the children out there. Um, if you have never heard, there was a genocide in Rwanda about like 20 years ago. This organization worked with my high school. It was a high school trip, um, but I went after I graduated. All you had to do was really apply. Like you had to write uh, an essay on why you want to go to Rwanda. Um, the trip is fully funded, like plane tickets, all that stuff, they pay for it. If we were accepted, then we had to do like certain things, like complete certain things. So we had to fundraise, we had to um, read books and watch documentaries, the history of Rwanda and what happened in Rwanda 20 years ago. But I know my dad would be like, you're not going to Africa, blah, blah, blah. I don't have money to pay for you. And I kept trying to tell him, like, it, we don't have to pay for it. Like, you know, you just, you just have to have spending money. So he's basically saying, like, nothing's free. Like, you need to stop because I can't be spending all this money to send you to Africa, blah, 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 blah. Mind you, at that point, I had already got accepted. Like, they accepted me. I want to say, like, a couple, like, a month or two later, we found out if we was going or not. And, like, I got accepted. I was like y'all choosing me what i want to go out the country okay i kept trying to convince him like yo please just let me go like you know we don't really have to pay we just have to get the passport and stuff like once we do that we're all set and he really wasn't he wasn't having it but you know i still had to finagle my way because i really wanted to go so i'm just like oh like this is gonna be so scary and i was just like not prepared i couldn't sleep because i was so nervous like i was so scared and i was thinking like wow like in like a couple of hours i'm gonna be traveling like halfway across the world like what this is my first ever trip and this is where i'm going my first trip i was so like in shock i think we had to be at the airport by like noon so we had to get up around like nine ish and we got to the airport mind you i have like my suitcase and two carry-ons so i had three bags total I get there, my friends are there, we all had a lot of bags. So in total, there was nine or 10 of us in total, including like our supervisors and stuff. And we had like 27 bags. I kid you not, like I would insert videos and clips from this whole trip so you guys will see like while I'm talking, but we literally had 27 bags for like nine to 10 people. We had our own luggage and then we had donations for the children that we were going to see in Rwanda. So it's getting closer to when we actually have to go to the gate and you know, start boarding the plane. And I'm over here like, mm, mm. I, you know, I already know, I have very, very, very bad anxiety. So I already knew I was gonna be scared out of my mind. Like, like I was, I already knew, like I felt the tears already coming, I already knew. We're walking through the airport. First of all, I'm intrigued because they have flat escalators on the floor. What y'all know about flat escalators? Hey, what y'all know? Where's Fox, <laughs> hey. Flat escalator. I did not. I did not know that they had flat escalators. Bro. We get to our gate, and you know, 
you see all the planes like leaving the airport or coming to the airport like wow like that's gonna be me and i'm gonna be in the air for so long like the traveling time for this trip i kid you not was almost like a day total and i was just like wow it was time to get on the plane and i was like <laughs> wow like it's really about to happen so i was prepared i had my slippers i had my snuggie i had my my neck pillow i was like i'm about to be comfortable on this plane because we about to be on this plane for like six seven hours almost eight hours so i ended up getting like you know those two seats next to the window but i had the aisle seat not the window seat and i was like wow and i was next to a stranger because when they booked our tickets like they didn't necessarily put everyone together so I was next to a stranger and my friend was behind me. So I was like, yo, can you ask the person next to you if I could switch seats with him? Because I'm not sitting with a stranger on my first time on a plane. Like, I'm not doing that. I will literally die. Like, I'm not doing that. We ended up asking the guy that was sitting next to my friend, like, yo, like, can we switch seats, please? Because this is my first time on a plane. Like, you know, I'm scared. Like, you know, I want to be next to my friend where I'm comfortable. And luckily he was like, okay, like, you know, like we can switch, I got you. Because some people could have been rude and was like, stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. But I'm just glad he said yeah, cause if not, I just would have been a whole problem. And I was just really scared and I was like, bro, like, just please hold my hand, cause I'm so scared. I don't know how I'm about to do this, like my anxiety. This let me. Eventually the plane starts taxiing and they're telling us, you know, put our seatbelts on, get prepared for takeoff. And while the plane's taxiing, I'm like, okay, like, this is not bad at all. Like, if this is how it's gonna be the whole time, then, like, I'm good. I don't know why I was stressing. I don't know why I thought that. I don't know why for the whole time I thought it was gonna go slow. I'm like, girl, how did you expect to get in the air going slow? My friend was like, oh, like, we're about to, like, go down the runway and take off. And I said, we're about to what? We're about to do what? And so I'm sitting there panicking because I'm like, oh my god, I really like I really didn't know what to expect. This is my first time on a plane. Like I did not know what to expect. So then we should start zooming, zooming down the runway. Zooming down the runway. And I was just like, like, what? Like this is what this is what happens on a plane every time it takes off, it goes this fast. It was so loud, it was kind of shaky, and I was holding my friend's hand death grip i had a death grip on his hand it was bad i was crying <laughs> i was holding his hand for dear life like i was so scared and i just feel us like kind of lean back a little bit and i was just like <laughs> i'm like this like i really it kind of reminded me of a roller coaster in a way we're like finally in the air and stuff and it started to slow down and everything started to go steady and i'm just like okay this is not bad like i actually like it like you know like i enjoy flying this is very peaceful i connected my phone to the wi-fi because i was like <laughs> i'm about to text my friends i'm about to tell them i made it even though i was crying and stuff i'm about to be like yo your girl's still alive you know me? like <laughs> first of all they had touch screens on the back of each seat touch okay delta I, I i don't really know about planes so don't come for me i don't really know about all of them but we took delta and i liked it like there that experience was actually pretty good we had a layover in amsterdam uh, at that point i was tired that airport was so nice like we we're walking around the whole airport i was taking pictures I was, I'm telling you, I'm gonna insert all this stuff like right on the screen. As we was walking around, they had like a McDonald's in the airport. They still had the flat escalators and I was like, yup, I couldn't read barely any of the signs, but you know, <laughs> we, were just, we were just exploring because why not? We got five hours, we're in Amsterdam. Can't go outside, so might as well just search the airport so that's what we did we eventually get on the next plane to go to rwanda um that was like another like seven eight hour flight at that point we got on that plane i didn't even wait for the takeoff i was already falling asleep i was already going to sleep i slept through the takeoff i wasn't even scared no more you know i was a pro after that first plane i was like i'm a pro 
I know how to ride planes now. I ain't scared no more. Y'all ain't gonna tell me I'm scared. I ain't scared. Bye.